Oh boy, Crime and Punishment. And I'm sorry I kind of robbed y'all of uh, previously on Kiryu Kazuma, but um, we already saw that. I don't really care. So this is our guy, uh, the real estate agent. Oh my gosh, he's talking about me. I think. Probably, I mean. It looks like he's talking about me. That looks like my business card. Yes, Tachibana Fudoso. Mmm. It's all... <laughs> oh yeah, it's all coming together. Well, am I kidding you now? That was actually a really... Hey! Cool. Before Camilla Grove. Well, great. That was a really short cutscene. I was kind of expecting longer, I guess. Not that I'm complaining, the scenes in this game are what takes up most of the time. Because I'm just so good at beating the crap out of people that that takes no time at all. Whole place feels weird, does it now? Speaking of weird, I think the thing I'm trying to do um, to put out tomorrow, the song, is going to be really weird. Because I'm between... Uh, let's see. Well... I mean, uh, there's no real, like, spoiling music, I guess, because I'm just going to put it out, and then people are going to be like, oh, it's that, I guess. Uh, they're getting... Check Yes Panama is actually getting pretty good views. I don't know about actual retention and engagement. Uh, well, it's getting zero engagement and probably mediocre retention, but it's getting pretty good views. And hey, long as I can get something that finally takes people's eyes away from the one... Um, Carrion video that I made that I think people are mistaking for something else, which is weird. I don't know why it's getting pushed. <laughs> uh, but, hey, I guess I shouldn't complain. Mm. So, I talked a while ago, I think it was either yesterday or the day before, so The Witness or Batman, about how I can't for the life of me find proper or isolated tracks for A-Punk by Vampire Weekend, uh, which is weird because it's been in a quite a few rock band games, you'd think somebody would have put them up by now. There's a guy that uh, has like ma a massive like zip file of multi-tracks on like Media Shear. Uh, or Media Fire or whatever. Um, but they're really old and outdated and I don't know how to use them. And I don't really want to run the risk of like downloading something that's going to blow up my computer just because I want to make a silly mashup that involves A-Punk by Vampire Weekend from like 2009. Um, so I think I'll just keep the backing I kind of want to separate the guitar from the bass and the drums, but, I mean, the best solution that I've got for that is there are a couple covers on YouTube, but I don't know how I feel about just using a cover, you know, but hey, I might have to if it doesn't sound very good, I'm just going to feel really silly about having to remake the whole dang thing. Also, did I mention, I haven't actually started on it. <laughs> I absolutely should have started on it by now, but I haven't. <laughs> like, I have the, I have the songs that I want to use, but I haven't started on what I'm actually doing. And I'm, I'm not entirely sure that I have the full thing kind of planned out in my head. Okay, somebody got in my way earlier. It wasn't my fault. Uh, I guess I can mention it, since I already said I wasn't going to, like, be hush-hush about this. So, the uh, A-Punk is weird in that, like, I think the only thing that's... I'm not going to say that the only thing that's good from the song. The whole song is good altogether, but the only thing that I think I could really mash with is the guitar. Uh, the, the guitar. Um. Awooga! Okay. <laughs> but, yeah. But um, sorry, this is very distracting. I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm uh, really waiting. I'm just. <laughs> so. Auga. <laughs> Anyways. The guitar is all I want. The backing track isn't terrible, but I was trying to over. Well, I 
I didn't actually talk about what the uh, what else I was going to mix it with. I was going to mix it with um, Blitzkrieg Bob, and I was going to call it A Blitz, right? Just because I can... What's with the guy in his underwear? Hold on. Is that the guy that was at the Cabaret Club? Hold on. Hold on. You're going to see him again. Oh my gosh. Are we really not going to not gonna switch back to that viewpoint? He's he's behind me to the right. This is all very distracting. Oh my gosh. Huh. Well, how about that? Cool. Uh, thanks. Very nice. Anyways... I was also lightly considering involving something, probably just the vocals from Tick Tick Boom. Just because. And even then, it would probably just be the Yaz part where they go, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but I don't know, because I think with Blitzkrieg Bop and A-Punk, you're kind of saturated with guitar already, and the drums and bass from Tick Tick Boom, I haven't really, I haven't really tried it out, but I feel like it would be a bit too heavy for A-Punk guitar, you know? Uh, maybe a bit too close to metal. But hell, I was already thinking of, like, layering the A-Punk guitar and the Blitzkrieg Bop guitar over each other. The only reason it doesn't really work is because A-Punk has kind of a weird... It's got a weird repetition cycle where it's... Um, God, I'm, I'm probably going to get into musical terminology, and I don't know if this is going to make any, any sense, unless you even know what I'm talking about already anyways, but um, A-Punk has like a turnaround of, of, I think it's ten measures, that or the counting is different from what I'm thinking, instead of what, would, what I would imagine would be eight for most songs, or four. Um, and that's not difficult to get around. I could just chop it up and take out the the, the one fifth, the latter fifth of it per set of ten measures. But uh, I I kind of want to avoid making the mashes just a lot shorter. Like check yes Panama. I'm trying to think of how long Panama is. I feel like Panama is like three minutes, and Check Yes Juliet is like three and a half, and Check Yes Panama is two and a half. <laughs> so I know what happened there. Don't get me wrong. I I uh, I guess burning the candle at both ends isn't really an applicable saying here. But I, w I was cutting, I was taken from both piles there. I was I was cutting a lot and skipping through a lot just to make it work. And you know, it was it was interesting, it was nice and all. Ooh! Shout out to the well. Never mind, I don't need to say that. <laughs> uh, let's just uh, forget I forget I almost said anything. How about that? God, you know what I forgot to do? I, I was going to look up at some point. I was going to look up if I can... Um, if I can record desktop audio and microphone audio separately on OBS. You probably can. Uh, I don't know how to set it up. And I 100%. <laughs> Your shop gonna attend itself, Bell? Very confused. A guy standing outside half naked in his friggin' tidy whities Shush. Um. But I, uh. Hold on. God, what was I talking about? I, I don't know how to set it up, and I haven't looked it up yet. I literally mentioned it already, even. Uh. Jizz? <laughs> yeah. 
So I'm hoping that Ablets will be fun to make, at least. Uh, I'm not going to say that Czechia Panama was the greatest piece of mashup thing ever made. And I think Ablets is the kind of thing that would have a greater potential for reversals. And again, kind of shoot. Oh, I hate to say shoehorn, but like mixing in some other stuff like Tick Tick Boom. I was even thinking like Stairway to Heaven at some point just because of the kind of flutish portions in Stairway and A Punk. But that. That isn't even something that I've really listened to kind of with that mindset going. So, uh, probably wouldn't work, and I don't know if I really have the time to experiment here because, well, it is... Wait, I'm stupid. Why am I so dumb? It's literally Wednesday today. I'm putting this up on Friday. I straight up thought it was Friday for a second because I'm putting this up on Friday. But it's Wednesday. Wow. Wow. And I was saying that shop was distracting. Look at this guy. Sheesh. Okay, let's find some punks to beat up. I I have nothing better to do in this game. If I don't find some punks to beat up, I'm going to feel like I haven't justified the episode. Which is a line that I w say way too often. But it's true. Hey, punks to beat up. What's up, hooligans? Goons? All right, three, four, five, nope, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay, I guess four is kind of the best here, ow, my gosh, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, you know what, how about I go beast style just for the heck of it? There we go, very nice. E. I got a sledgehammer now. I still don't really know. How about I just throw this guy through the wall? Hey pal! Okay, never mind. This works too. I haven't really used much of the environmental takedowns. Which is a darn shame. What the heck is this? Look at this clown! Didn't we have enough of guys dressed in makeup <laughs> last episode? Ah! Oh, it's the CP Temple! Ah, oh, god, I'm gonna have... I think I might actually have to cut out that little comment. Uh... Really? Mine got... Get the card watcher accessory. Okay. I forgot about the cash confetti ability. I'm not gonna lie. Disposable income, bottom of stomach. Oh wow, that's super. That's super helpful. How about battle, huh? Gather more money from enemies. Oh yeah. And Mr. Shakedown will likely take a nap in the park. I gotta say, I didn't know about a lot of this crap. I guess you have to do them in order. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Um. Hey, not that I'm complaining. Let's just, uh... Do half and half, I guess. I don't think that I did those proper. Well, hey! We finally got all that CP off our hands. I've been weaning, I've been meaning to dispose of all the CP. Because I don't really like having it on me, to be honest. Like, it'd be really awkward to be caught with all that CP. Um, seriously, I'm glad I was able to get rid of it. That guy in the make- oh, boy. See, look at how awkward this would have been. There's an officer right here. Is there some kind of accident? Car bomb. Car bomb. Yep, a car bomb. I remember whose car this was. Hehehe. <laughs> Good times, truly. Except for, uh, Mr. Godhands himself. Well, Mars? The candy bar place? Place. Company? Whatever. I'm not sponsored by candy bars. And I don't eat a lot of candy bars either. That's what Bucky's Beaver Nuggets are for. That's right. I consume Bucky's Beaver Nuggets. 
Yeah, I think I've had enough embarrassing myself today, so I'm just going to end it here. Till next time, though, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will smash you through the wall. <laughs> Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.